Okay, if you need a video to do the keychain version of the name tag, we'll have another video that you can watch if you need some help. And you'll notice, first of all, you know, here's my Smith name tag that I made. Here's the Jones name tag that I made a copy of. You'll notice that I renamed those tabs at the bottom to also be the part name. So on a new part studio that I just did, insert a new part studio to create another one. Um, right there, I can select rename and I'm gonna call this one Keychain Demo. Okay, and then this will be exactly the same process except we need different dimensions to make a size for your keychain. So we'll start with a sketch on the front plane and then once we have that, I'm going to draw a rectangle, making sure I'm at the origin. Dimensions for the rectangle need to be 72 by 24. And I'm just hitting enter again after I draw the rectangle to get those dimensions. I'll finish my sketch. Let's extrude that a distance of 2 millimeters. Okay, finish the extrusion. And then we'll add a chamfer of seven millimeters. And again, you get to get used to zooming in and zooming out, get good eyes, as I like to say, to make sure we're getting those little edges chamfered at seven millimeters. Okay, so then that kind of squares off that end. And then let's add a two millimeter fillet to all four of those corners that we just created with the chamfer. So you see getting good eyes to look at that really helps and we can see the preview of what's happening. So that rounds that off a little bit. Then let's fill it the other end at a five millimeter radius, five or six, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the drawing says, but five or six looks pretty good. All right, next let's do a sketch on the front face of this. Now we gotta be careful that you don't get this plane because this is actually on the back side of it. That's the XZ plane. Make sure you get the front face of that. And then once you have that, let's select the offset tool, click the face and well, we need offset tool on the face there we go and then click and drag in a little bit don't drag too far or you'll lose your corners and then hit enter so that you can edit that value and it's a lot easier to just hit enter and type the number you want which we want a two millimeter border on this one or offset um, it's a lot easier to type that than to try to drag to exactly 2.0. Okay, so then to finish your sketch. And then we will extrude. And when we extrude, make sure you get the picture frame around the outside. That's the border we want. Extruded an additional one millimeter. Hit the check mark. And then if we chamfer that border, the chamfer distance is 0 0.06 millimeters. And again, we can click that whole picture frame of 0 0.6, oh, 0 0.6, I had 0 0.06, 0 0.6 millimeters. Pick that whole picture frame and that does it all at once. So there's our border. And then in order to drill a hole, we need a sketch on the face. And we're gonna grab the point tool just plop a point on there and then let's look at this head on and now we need to add some dimensions to that so from the distance of that point to the origin a vertical distance half of 24 is 12 and then a horizontal distance uh, we want to be five millimeters over and then hit our check mark so we finish the sketch and then we can drill a hole. And that hole diameter, let's make that 
uh, five millimeters. And now we have five millimeter hole. Hit the check mark, so now we have a hole there. And something we did not do yet, we did not rename this part, so I'm going to go over here and do a rename. And of course, this is my keychain. And I'm going to put Mrs. Gibson's name on this one. So, got, got to spread the wealth around amongst the math department. So let's go ahead and put a sketch on the face and then we'll draw our text box. I'm going to go Gibson. Oh, I accidentally got into something else. So let's go back to that sketch. Not sure how I did that, but let's just edit sketch four. Oh, I think I cleared my sketch somehow. So I'll draw that text box again. Let's go Gibson. Okay, finish the text. And again, in order to size this, we have to put numbers on it. Okay, so I know that's a little bit too long. And you're just going to have to guess and check on what your dimensions need to be in order to size your part. We know it's 72 long, so I'm going to try 60. And let's see what that looks like. That looks good, but I need a few more dimensions to try to get that centered up. So let's go ahead and add another dimension to that from here to here. Come on. Horizontal distance, let's see, let's try 8. And I don't like 8 because that's a little too close to the hole. Escape gets you out of the tool. So then I can double click, let's try 9. So that moves that over pretty good. And I want to try to center this. So in order to do that, I'm going to put a point on here. I'm just going to plop a point on the side. So I have a point there on the side. And then over here, somewhere I have a midpoint tool. There's midpoint. So I'm going to make that the midpoint of the line. Okay, so you notice that jump to the midpoint. So that way, now I'm going to escape to get out of a tool. I can dimension from that midpoint to the origin. And come on. Dimension from the midpoint to the origin, move to the left, and to put that in the middle, that needs to be up 12. Okay, now again, your text, you're going to have to size that for your name. Okay, so these numbers are not necessarily going to work in terms of your, your width and height. Although if you just put one, one row, um, that will work pretty good there. So go ahead and hit our check mark. And then extrude our text. And we want to highlight all of those letters. So you'll notice I'm selecting each section. Oh, there. That time I got them all at once. That's what we want. Or you can click one letter at a time. And we only want to extrude those one millimeter. Okay. Uh, finish that. Now, if you are able to apply a chamfer to your text that is going to help. And we want to make this like a really small chamfer, like 0.2. So if it'll let me do that, I want to have a chamfer on each one of those letters. 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And as long as nothing turns red, that chamfer is going to be successful. Okay, and it's really small, but we can see it is adding a 0.2 chamfer. Let's see if I can make it 0.3. And I click in free space. 0.3 works. The bigger, the better, as long as it's not cutting too much into the letters. So let's try 0.4. Click 
click in free space and we see it preview. Um, it doesn't like lowercase letters for chamfer, so that's why I chose to do all of my text in uppercase. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll finish with a check mark. And of course, now the bells and whistles. Okay, um, we can uh, click on the part and right click and select assign material. And this is where we can make this ABS plastic. Okay, so that would give us clicking at the mass properties that would give us the weight. So we'll see that this is only 0 0.009 pounds and we can set up a proportion and solve that for the, the approximate cost of the part, knowing that uh, a whole spool of filament at 2.2 pounds uh, costs $35. And then if you want to change colors, um, you can pick the features that you want to change colors on, which would be like the border, the extrude, and the chamfer. So we can add appearance, change to those features, and make that text a different color so it kind of pops out. Okay. And of course, the most important part of this is... Uh, selecting the part from the browser and right clicking export to STL millimeters fine resolution and download now another thing we want to do here let's not have a big long file name so please uh, shorten that name up because a long file name is not going to be read by the 3d printer as well and it's hard to tell so give this a short, brief, but descriptive file name, just like I have here, Keychain KG for Mrs. Gibson. Okay, so that is the Keychain size name tag file.